I can't believe we're in an era where Brandon actually has to describe what a woman is. Welcome to 2022, man. It's it's insane to me that we have actually gotten. You, you, I mean, 100 percent correct. This idea that I have to go over a lesson that I learned when I was four years old, and we have this lesson needing to be said because someone who is about to, hopefully not about to, but is is up to enter into a seat on the on the Supreme Court, the highest court in the land. The fact that I have to go over this lesson. Because she can't identify what a woman is, is insane to me. By the way, I, I'm, I'm aghast, aghast, that we have this society that recently just went through this entire ordeal where feminism was like the, the, the big deal, man, from like, 20, like 2010 all the way to 2015, around 20, maybe, I'd say 2015, 2016, like, feminism was the thing, man. You you were a feminist, everybody. They were so cocky, they were so powerful, these, these third-way feminists, that they were advocating openly that women should never go to jail for anything. You still see the echoes of it from time to time. AOC kind of said something along those lines as well recently. But you couldn't say anything. Do y'all remember the guy who landed a, a satellite on a comet? And they tore him to shreds. I think this was back in 2015. This guy. Matt Taylor. Matt Taylor, this was back in... Yeah, this... 2014. Matt Taylor landed an entire... <clears throat> an entire satellite on a moving comet. This dude. And people got mad because of the shirt that he's wearing. You see that shirt right there? That shirt was made for him by a female friend of his. And he wore it in honor of her, like to kind of as a shout out to her. And they did not care because he disrespected women with that shirt. Like they, they, the, the SJWs, the woke culture idiots tore him apart. The dude had like, the dude broke down crying during an interview because he was so put upon by these idiots, these, these woke mobs who were trying to destroy him. He felt so horrible. They made him feel so horrible. This dude accomplished something that, like, it is so di insanely difficult. You couldn't do it. And they didn't care because he had disrespected women with that shirt. Now, now, you can literally have a Supreme Court nominee go, I, I can't define a woman. And everybody on the left, these woke idiots, these social justice jackasses are going, good for her. Yeah, okay. She's so progressive. So progressive. When my kids were little, I'd tell them if you were ever, if you ever get lost, look for a policeman or a mom. A mom will always help you. Kids know what a mom is. Exactly. It's not that hard. It's not that hard to identify. Women are easily identifiable. But now all of a sudden we can't identify them because identify. Y'all, Adele literally said, I love being a woman and she got in trouble for it. We went from... A guy getting in trouble for wearing a, a shirt with with sexy pinup girls on it. Fully clothed, by the way. Sexy pinup girls on it. That were, oh, by the way, were drawings. They weren't like real women. They weren't pictures of real women. They were drawings. Made for him by a woman. We went from cancel, uh, canceling a guy who landed a, a satellite on a comet to being able to get mad at a woman for saying that she likes being a woman. Isn't that insane? This this is why, you guys, this is why we cannot take examples. We, we, we cannot, def our moral definitions, our definitions of what morality is from the radical left, despite the fact that they demand, they absolutely demand that we adhere to what their definitions of morality and goodness and virtue are. They have no morality or no virtue. What they, their entire MO is being displeased about any given thing. You cannot please these people. If you if you adhere to their virtues and their morality, what they consider to be right and wrong, they will change it the next day because their entire their their entire business model rests on the fact that they are victims, that they, that bad things are happening to them and the people that they care about, that they're allies with. You cannot please them. They are they. It is impossible. They are unpleasable people. Stop trying to please unpleasable people. And that begins with not allowing them to define what 
everything is from either morality to our science. Because even if we all agreed with them tomorrow, every single one of them, they would change it again because they need to always keep us on the back foot. 